Well, it's March, and I got the first day with the top down in the books, which also means South Dakota spring car season's right around the corner. Let's get after it. What's going on YouTube? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day again. Today I'm going to talk about the Aaron's Apex or the Gravely HD. For Aaron's and Gravely, they are the high end of what is still classified as a residential lawnmower. So they do have some commercial elements but are still classified as a residential mower. So they're kind of meant for like large acreage, that kind of place. So I want to give you kind of a quick breakdown of them. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. Okay guys, so first things first. Aaron's owns Gravely. So when I say I'm talking about the Aaron's Apex and the Gravely HD, they're virtually one and the same. Different paint color, a little bit different options on them as far as the engines go. You got more options on the Gravelys. One of the reasons I love that we sell Aaron's and Gravely products, they're one of the few companies out there still, what I like to say, gritting their teeth and doing it on their own. Aaron's is still a family run company. Dan Aaron's is still their president. They haven't been bought up by the big, you know, the MTDs of the world. Now, Gravely is Aaron's, we'll say more their commercial line. So when you get into the real big commercial stuff, like these here, there is no Aaron's equivalent. It is just Gravely. But in their residential mowers, they usually make an Aaron's and a Gravely equivalent to them. Aaron's are available to the box stores, whereas Gravely are servicing dealer only. Aaron's are still made right here in the USA. Another reason I love selling their stuff, made right in Brilliant, Wisconsin. In the Aaron's, there's three deck options. There's a 48, a 52, and a 60. We only stock the 52 and the 60, and for whatever weird reason, the Gravely HD, they make a 44, 48, 52, 60. I don't know why they do that. Usually this is the customer that's mowing two, three, four acres. None of those guys want a 44 inch deck. So this is a 60 right here. Actually one of, one of my great friends, Jordan Scott, has one of these bad boys right here. Go check out his channel, Scott Family Farms. You might catch a glimpse of it on there. So here's the quick breakdown. They have a four-year or 500-hour residential warranty on them. They use a 10-gauge steel fabricated deck. Always a matter of opinion, but I think Aaron's or Gravely build some of the best decks on the market. This thing's kind of a beef eater. Everything's reinforced. You can see it's a fully boxed in anti-scalp wheel. Everything down to even your deck hangers, dual-sided. They make a great deck on these. That's one of your things that really to me separates a lawnmower company anymore because so many of them out there are using the same transmissions, the same engines. All a mower company is is a welding company. They make a deck and a frame. So if one's got a better deck than the next guy down the road, that should be your tiebreaker right there. Now speaking of the transmissions, this has ZT3100 transaxles underneath it. The transaxles to me when you're shopping other brands and everything are one of the easiest things to look at when you really want to know that you're comparing apples to apples because almost everybody uses Hydra gears, which these are. Like I said, they're a ZT3100 Hydro, which is a commercial Hydro underneath this. So it'll do about eight miles an hour. It's got 22 inch tires in the back. It's got 13s in the front. They've got this really nice little access panel up here so you can actually get at everything on the deck, clean it all out. Deck height adjuster. Kind of love this setup on this one. Let me climb up here. So, this thing ranges everywhere, anywhere between one and a half inches all the way up to five inches. And it's actually got a transport lock in it. So it's a foot operated lift. Push this pedal down and this little deal right here locks it in right up here in the front. So it's at its high point now when you gotta load it on a trailer or anything like that. And when you're ready to mow again, flip that little deal out, sets it right back down to your cut height. Some dude's trying to get in the store. We're closed, bruh. But the Gravely has a few more engine options. The Aaron's just strictly come with one Kawasaki option on each deck size. So, this 52 inch has the 23 horse Kawasaki. The 60 inch has the 24 horse Kawasaki. Virtually the same engine, just 
a little larger. The Gravelys do come with three Kohler options. The Kohlers are every bit as good as the Kawasaki's. Don't let anybody tell you any different. I know everybody always wants a Kawasaki. You'll get a bigger Kohler engine for less money, and we have fantastic luck with the Kohler series on all of these. So like this 60-inch, for example, I believe the Kohler engine option on the Gravely is a 26 horse. So I'm really just focusing on the Aaron's Apex today because, well, I don't have an HD right now. Typically, we will only carry Gravelys on hand. Aaron's, they do sell to box stores, whereas Gravelys are sold to servicing dealers only. So it's one of the reasons we kind of stick to just Gravelys, and you're not, you're not directly competing with those box stores, even though you're carrying similar products. But for the last two years, we've been in that buy whatever we can get our hands on type mode. So what I've got right now are the Apexes. HDs aren't going to probably be available at all this year. I think one of the reasons they just focused on building the orange ones, so to speak, is because they can get those to the box stores as well as dealers, so they can kind of please everyone in that sense. Now the operator part of it. 20-inch high back seat, padded armrests. Pretty nice seat on it, actually. This thing can be a little bit of a firm ride because I know some people are using these out on rough farmyards and stuff. It's such a heavy built mower without all the comfort features that a commercial mower would have on it. So, I mean, it's a, it can be a firm ride. That's really your biggest difference between like these and a commercial mower is mostly comfort features. Those are designed for somebody that's on it all day, every day. Where they're paying $10,000 for a mower, it's mostly in comfort. These you're gonna spend somewhere around 6,000 on them, whether it just depends on if it's the Gravely or the Aaron's and then which options, combos you go with, engine, deck size, that kind of thing. I keep mentioning why I like these things so much. One of the other things is all the accessories available. So, comfort wise, here's a 60 inch I have set up right now with the suspension front forks on it and a suspension seat kit installed. So you can actually dial that firmer, softer, depending on the rider. My guy Jordan has one of these. I think he likes it. I hope, anyway. So this one rides really well. And there's all kinds of other accessories available for them, too. There's headlight kits, sun shades, all kinds of stuff. Of course, there's baggers. Right now, getting baggers is a nightmare, too. I've actually got some coming in here. I think in about a week we're going to have a few in, so I'll have one set up with a bagger on it, too. By the time you put a bagger on them, they're not cheap either. You're going to have, I want to say, close to $1,800 into it because it's kind of a three-part deal. The bagger itself, you'll see them advertised. They only say that those are, I think, $1,400. But there is a kit that goes in place of this little short stubby roll bar thing in the back here that the bagger has to mount off of. You'll actually remove this. There's a couple mounts that come up off the chassis through here that the bagger mounts off of. And then there's an actual install kit. So it'll go down here where it's a belt-driven powered bagger depending which deck size you own there will be a kit specifically to that includes the belt and the belt cover and that kind of stuff depending on which size deck it's for so by the time you get it all it's it's i want to say closer to eighteen hundred dollars so it's a five gallon gas tank technically 5.1 who's counting i kind of like how neat these are underneath the seat too it's pretty much nothing but gas tank battery i mean everything's fairly neat and clean here easy to access got your little overflow reservoirs for the hydros there even the control panels pretty simple throttle choke ignition just got an electric pto switch there is an hour meter right on them which will track your service intervals too all right i'm back home and the top's back up on the jeep because this is south dakota and even though it's 70 today it's going to rain and snow in the next two days so is this the right mower for you it really just depends. This is for a large acreage, so if that's what you got, I'll put it this way, I don't think you can go wrong with an Aaron's or Gravely product. Nobody ever comes back wishing they bought something else. The biggest reason I love selling Aaron's and Gravely products as much as I do is like I mentioned earlier, they're one of the few out there still on their own building a quality product. So many of these brands have been bought up just for their name. Um, Stanley Black & Decker owns MTD, so they own the majority of the mower brand names out there. Under the MTD family tree, there's the Troy Built, Cub Cadet, Poulon, Lawn Boy, Yard Man, Yard Machine, that kind of stuff, Craftsman. They also recently acquired Hustler, who owns Big Dog, so those will now be Stanley Black & Decker companies. They own DeWalt, who now makes lawnmowers. 
Then there's Husqvarna, who I think makes a really good product, but they try to make everything. I don't know how good you can be at one thing if you're trying to do it all. Toro kind of does the same thing. I, there's some fantastic products from Toro. They just try to dabble in a little bit of everything, and I'm, I'm not necessarily a fan of that. Aaron's and Gravely like to specialize. They do snowblowers and zero-turn lawnmowers, and that's it. Toro also recently bought Spartan, which I love Spartans, but I don't know what will come of them now that Toro has bought them. There's the Briggs & Stratton brand names out there, Snapper, Simplicity, Ferris, which Briggs & Stratton filed for bankruptcy here recently, and I don't know what's going to happen with those brand names, or if somebody like Stanley Black & Decker will buy them up for the name. There's the niche brands out there, like Grasshopper, Walker, where they build just a very specific style of mower that they kind of specialize in. And there's the overpriced brands out there, like the John Deere's of the world, which... John Deere builds a quality product, but they're overpriced because they don't really care because people will pay it, and John Deere makes their real money making combines anyway. There's just few quality zero-turn companies out there still still doing it on their own and, and making a good product. You know, Wright, Skag, Aaron's and Gravely, Bad Boy, you know, those those are the, the brands that I'm, I'm a fan of and I think build a, a quality product. And mowers are very territorial as well. Some of these brands you've probably never even heard of because if you don't have a dealer in your area, nobody uses them, nobody talks about them, you just, it's just the way it is. These mowers are bigger in some parts of the country than others. Our store has really built the Gravely name around here, whereas people around here for a long time have known Aaron's because we sell a lot of Aaron's snowblowers. We've built our customer base to know and trust the Gravely name, but most people had no clue what they were. Gravely's honestly a lot bigger down south. And I still really feel like the deck design and quality is where Aaron's and Gravely really do separate themselves. But it really comes down to buy what you can get your hands on close to you. Buy from a servicing dealer, if at all possible. So if you've got an Aaron's and Gravely dealer near you, great. But buy from a servicing dealer. Those are the guys that are going to back it up and take care of you. But on that note, like I mentioned earlier, check out my man Jordan's channel. It's called Scott Family Farms. I'll leave a link down below for you guys. Subscribe for me, please. I beg you. Hit the like button for me. Leave me some comments. Let me know if you guys got questions, ideas, anything like that. I want to hear from you. And until next time, we'll see you.